Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your AMD Radeon graphic card for gaming and performance with all new gaming drivers dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is preparing your windows for the best GPU settings. And for that, you have to open up your browser and head over to drivers and support for processor and graphics page of the AMD website. Over here, you have to download Windows drivers over here, and this will automatically detect and install all of the latest drivers for the installed components on your PC. Once you're done with that, you'd be back on your desktop. But before we move ahead to the best AMD Radeon settings, we should tweak our window settings and some of the other settings to prepare for the best AMD settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and once you're over here go over to gaming head over to game bar and turn this thing off it consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage in the background and if you have this thing enabled it will lead to performance issues and FPS drops in the games go back to gaming once again head over to game mode and turn this thing on it will optimize your PC by reducing the notifications popping up and in general turning off things in the background to get better performance right beneath that is the most essential part of over here that is the graphic settings in which you'll find change default graphic settings click on that and you'll find optimizations for windowed games simply turn this thing on as it will help you to reuse input latency and render latency of your games go back to graphics and then in this list you'll find all of the apps and games that are installed on your pc that consumes your gpu what you have to do is click on the browse button and add if if you don't have it already and once you're done with that head over to options and then select high performance for each one of them it will help you to utilize your gpu to render the applications and will help you to balance the the load on your CPU and your GPU to run the application and will help you to improve the performance of your PC. Okay, now let's move to the best AMD Radeon settings and for that right click on any empty area of your desktop and then click on show more options. Over here you'll find AMD Software Adrenaline Edition, simply click on that. It will open up this simple application right in front of you and you'll find drivers and software right in front of you. Once again, if you have not updated your drivers in the first step and if you already have this application, click on check for updates and make sure that you're always on the latest version possible. AMD brings on new updates to fix bugs that may be causing performance issues on your apps and games and doing so will help you to improve your performance. After that, head over to the gaming section and these are the global settings. Head over to graphics and then AMD super resolution. You guys have to set this into disabled amd fluid motion frames to disable this radeon anti lag should be turned on and other than that all of these options should be turned off wait for vertical refresh should be set to always off frame rate target control should be off anti-aliasing should be use application settings anti-aliasing method should be multi-sampling and morphological anti-aliasing should be turned off and isotropic filtering should be enabled and the filter should be set to 2x texture filter quality should be set to performance and surface format optimization should be enabled tessellation mode should be set to AMD optimized and disable OpenGL triple buffering. In here, you will also see an optional setting called 10 bit pixel format, and it will only be available if your monitor supports 10 bit pixels. This will basically help you to boost your blacks. And if you guys see it over here, simply turn this thing on. It will require a system reboot, but if you click on OK and then you restart your PC, you will see drastic visual difference in the 10 bit pixel format. After that, you have to click on perform reset under the reset shader cache they can click on ok and it will reset the shader cache that means it will clear all of the pre-rendered games and will help you to re-render the games with the new settings after that head over to record and stream over here and then go over to settings in here you have to disable record desktop and all of the recording settings as it is running in the background and video recording may cause fps issues once again if you have a powerful pc or a powerful graphic card you can keep it enabled if you want to clip your games after that, head over to the performance settings over here and then go down to tuning. Here you'll find all of your AMD attached components. I have a CPU and a GPU and right beneath that you'll find AMD smart access memory. It unlocks a DGPU memory for performance and if you guys do not have it enabled, here is how you can turn it on from BIOS. So to enable that, you have to open up your BIOS utility and over here, head over to the advanced tab. Then find a PCI subsystem settings and in here you'll find above 4G decoding. This is different according to different motherboards, but over here you have to look for above 4G decoding. This is the one that you're looking for. Simply enable it and right after that, a resize bar support will appear in front of you. Click on auto over here 
and once you're done with that head over to the boot option and then you'll find launch csm you have to basically disable csm over here and once you're done with that head over to the exit tab and simply save these settings after that you have to restart your pc okay once you are done with all of these settings come back over here and then press on this button and switch it on after that head over to settings and then make sure that hide metrics overlay during logging should be turned on and then go over to the app settings right over here enable check for updates and issue detection over here and after that head over to the display settings over here you'll find amd freezing premium once again if you have a monitor that supports amd freezing premium you guys have to turn this thing on it will give you significant fps boost and improve your visual right beneath that you'll find gpu scaling enable that as well and the scaling mode should be set to preserve aspect ratio integer scaling should be turned off color depth should be set to 10 bpc pixel format should be rgb standard format over here display color enhancement should be set to disabled for custom color turn this thing on and the saturation should be set to a little bit over 130 or 140 as it will help you to improve your visuals and improve color efficiency right beneath that you'll find overrides and over here you have to Disable HDCP support and once that is done go over to audio and video settings here you'll find video profile you have to set this thing to enhanced and after that go over to hotkeys turn all of the hotkeys off you don't need them last is the preferences section over here where you'll find in-game overlay you have to disable that web browser should be disabled system tray menu should be turned on advertisements should be turned off tutorials should be turned off and toast notifications should be turned on other than that leave everything as it is and once you're done with that you are good to go with the best amd adrenaline software settings and once that is done simply close this once again if all of that does not help you to gain extra fps the next steps will so simply search for create a restore point on your pc and once you're over here look for a local disk c and simply click on create name it amd so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your pc settings back to default without any data loss once that is done simply click on close and close system properties next step is downloading the amd radeon optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and over here you'll find in three simple folders the first one is amd gpu optimization in which you'll find five independent folders let's start with the first one that is the advanced optimizations in which i have left disable gpu io power saving mode disable radeon chill and disable ulps you have to double click and run all of them like this click on yes once that is done, you guys can see performance boost on your PC. And if you want to revert any of them back to normal, you can use this folder. Second one is AMD Enhanced Sync in which you'll find Disable AMD Enhanced Sync. Simply double click to run this one. After that, you'll find AMD GPU registries in which you'll find some of these registries. I have already applied that on my PC, but I would recommend you guys to double click and run every single one of them and it will help you to optimize your GPU's performance. Next is AMD Power Profile settings in which I have left high performance all of you have to apply the high performance registry like this and last is clean amd shader cache we have already done it through the application so you can skip it right over here second folder is pc optimization in which you have to apply all of them and this will help you to optimize your pc by disabling large cache optimize your power consumption by disabling power throttling i've already done it for my pc and improve your pc's responsiveness by applying this registry over here as well once it is done go in the programs folder in which you will find clean temporary files batch file right click in and this as administrator and this will ask you a simple prompt to press any key to continue simply do that and we'll start deleting all temporary files on your pc it is completely safe to do that every now and then as it will help you to free up your ram and improve your pc's performance drastically next is msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click on this as administrator click on yes and over here you will find your graphic card in this list click on the msi button in front of it and for the interrupt priority set this thing to high click on apply and then click on save this will help you to improve the SF a priority of your graphic card and utilize it in a better way for rendering the games and improve the performance of your pc once that is done simply close your fps pack and now you guys can drop into the game and check your in-game performance applying all of these settings correctly can give you a drastic 15 to 20 percent fps boost and that is it for this video guys i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button it really helps me grow the channel we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching tweakers and Peace out.